हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ब्रैडिकार्डिया द हार्ट रेट बिलो 60 बीट्स पर मिनट नाउ व्हाई इज दिस कट ऑफ लाइन ऑफ 60 व्हाट्स विद दिस 60 बीट्स पर मिनट एज अ कट ऑफ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द ब्रैडिकार्डिया हार्ट रेट बिलो 60 बीट्स पर मिनट हैज गॉट अरिथमोजेनिक पोटेंशियल एंड समटाइम्स इट इज रिफर्ड टू एज ब्रैडी रिथमियाज ब्रैडी अरिदमियाज ब्रैडी रिदमियाज और ब्रैडी कार्डिया अरिदमियाज वी ऑफन रीड मोर अबाउट टैकी कार्डिया अरिदमियाज फ्लटर फिब्रिलेशन मेन द हाई हार्ट रेट्स रिजल्टिंग इन अरिदमियाज और आर प्रेजेंट अलॉन्ग विद अरिदमियाज वॉट अबाउट द ब्रैडी अरिदमियाज वेन द हार्ट रेट बिलो सिक्सटी वाई इज इट बिकम्स इट बिकम्स द अरिदमोजेनिक पोटेंशियल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ with this uh, small discussion okay uh, first i'll give you an example and then you connect it to the heart pacemaker av node and uh, bradycardia imagine you are seated in a classroom and the faculty the teacher is teaching with a certain speed let's call it the natural frequency of the teacher or intrinsic rhythmicity intrinsic natural rhythmicity of that teacher okay you all are students seated in the classroom each student has a different intrinsic rhythmicity okay speed of understanding of every student is different but all of them have to follow the speed of the faculty faculty is teaching with a certain speed we are calling it as intrinsic rhythmicity so all of you as students have to follow that speed okay but when you go back home then you can study with your natural speed or natural intrinsic rhythmicity now let's uh, take this example to the heart take to the heart means let's uh, connect it to, uh, to the condition in the heart let's not take it to the heart uh, literally sa node is the natural pacemaker and sa node has a certain intrinsic rhythmicity and each part in the heart each, uh, every part of the conducting system also have certain intrinsic rhythmicity intrinsic autorhythmicity but that intrinsic rhythmicity is fastest or has got a highest frequency in the case of sa node the intrinsic rhythmicity of the sa node is 80 to 100 times per minute i mean if sa node is left to itself it can excite automatically for 80 to 100 times per minute but then just a small question why is then the heart rate 70 to 80 beats per minute why the heart rate is less than that because normally in the body sa node is under the influence of vagus and vagus is known to slow down the uh, sa node hyper polarizes the sa node to some extent and therefore because of the vagal tone sa node generally uh, generates about 70 to 80 impulses per minute and therefore heart rate normally is about 70 to 70 uh, 70 to 80 beats per minute but look at the av node bundle of his purkinje fibers these are all the students seated in the classroom and sa node is the teacher teaching with the highest frequency and therefore everybody has to follow that speed okay if sa node generates 72 impulses per minute all the parts in the heart will have to excite 72 times per minute and the heart rate will be 72 beats per minute that's a given fact but those parts they also have their own natural uh, rhythmicities or intrinsic rhythmicities just like the students all students each student has different uh, speed of understanding each part in the conducting system has its own intrinsic or natural frequency of excitation you know what is the intrinsic or natural rhythmicity of the av node any guess the intrinsic rhythmicity of this student in the classroom 
the intrinsic natural rhythmicity of this student is 60 per minute. This student uh, is also a fast learner, but not as fast as SA node. However, uh, it is an automatic uh, tissue, AV node. It has the capacity to be the pacemaker, you know, but its natural pacemaker ability is suppressed by the pacemaker, real pacemaker, which is the SA node. Like a brilliant uh, student in the classroom who has the ability to teach, but the teacher uh, is not going to allow that student to teach as long as the teacher is there in the classroom. Okay. But then imagine that SA node begins to fail. There are variety of conditions like sick sinus syndrome or such conditions. Uh, SA node begins to fail and therefore its impulse discharge frequency becomes less and less. Suppose teacher uh, is teaching very, very, very slowly. What is happening now is SA node starts generating less number of impulses per minute. Heart rate decreases from 72 to 70 to 65 to 60. Look, so far as the SA node was generating high number of impulses, it suppressed the pacemaker potential of the AV node. AV node also had the ability to be the pacemaker, but it was suppressed by a higher speed of impulse generation by the SA node. But if SA node starts failing, like for example, I just now told you six sinus syndrome and SA node generates 60 impulses per minute or less than 60 impulses per minute. What will happen? Bradycardia, less than 60 beats per minute. That's bradycardia. But what will be the result of that? AV node, another student seated in the classroom and has the pacemaker potential, now will come out of that suppression. The term used is overdrive suppression. SA node is in an overdrive mode with the highest frequency of impulse generation and it is suppressing the other potential pacemakers. Okay, And therefore, everybody has to follow the SA node. But now SA node itself has slowed down and its impulse generating frequency has gone down below 60. AV node can come out of that uh, suppression from the SA node. Imagine the student who was very brilliant student and has the ability to teach. But right now he is sitting in the classroom quietly because he has to follow the teacher, faculty. And faculty has slowed down, has become boring. But that's okay. Forget about the example. What will happen in the heart is uh, AV node now can come out of that suppression from the SA node. SA node had, keep the, uh, had kept the AV nodal uh, potential suppressed. AV node will, can come out of that suppression and the result can be that AV node can also become the pacemaker and this may lead to arrhythmias, rhythm disturbances. I mean, imagine SA node is generating the impulses, automatic impulses. AV node also has come out of the uh, natural suppression of the SA node and AV node also becomes the pacemaker because it had always had the pacemaker potential, but it was kept suppressed by the SA node. So, why did all this happen? It All of this happened because SA node started failing. It, uh, uh, it became sick. It slowed down. Okay. And therefore, AV node could come out of that suppression and it could become the pacemaker. Imagine multiple pacemakers generating multiple impulses. This has arrhythmogenic potential. And therefore, bradycardia, the cutoff line, is said to be 60 beats per minute. If SA node generates less than 60 beats per minute, there is a danger that the AV node can come to itself. You know, it can acquire that property of pacemaker potential, uh, which already it has and it will start generating the impulses, multiple pacemakers. That's a possibility and therefore, bradycardia uh, or bradyarrhythmias the cutoff line for that is said to be or taken as 60 beats per 
మెనెట్